Alright guys, let's look at this question that's on the calligraphy property to be specific it's on the osmotic pressure. So the question reads, calculate the osmotic pressure of an aqueous solution dissolved by, made by dissolving 20 grams, and this is supposed to be 20 grams of LICL, in enough water to make a 300 milliliters of solution and the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Well, know the formula for the osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is going to be equal to I M R T. So your I is just going to be the Van Hoff factor. So what's going to be the Van Hoff factor for LICL? So remember, the expected value for the LICL is going to be 2 because it gets broken into Li plus NCL minus aqueous. And it may not be exactly 2 when it comes to the measured value, but you're always going to be used an expected value unless told otherwise. So it's just going to be 2 here. And then we got to figure out what's going to be the molarity. Well, to find the molarity, I would need the moles of LICL because remember your molarity is going to be the moles of LICL divided by liters of solution or volume of the solution in liters. Well, we know the volume of the solution, but we need to figure out what the moles going to be for LICL. I know we're using 20 grams of LICL, so I can go ahead and write down 20.0 grams of LICL. And how do you convert the LICL grams into the moles? Yes, we use molar mass. It's going to be one mole of LICL divided by the grams of LICL. So what's going to be the molar mass? Well, with the, the chlorine is about 35.5, and then your lithium is going to be 6.94. So about 42.5 is going to be the rough, uh, is going to be the approximate molar mass there. So that cancels out. And that gives you 20 divided by 42.5. So your, mol your moles comes out to be 0 0.471 in here. So then I can go down and calculate the molarity. So your molarity is going to be uh, 0.471 moles of LICL. Divide that by the liters of the solution and we're using 300 milliliters. So 300 milliliters is going to be how much in liters? Well, yes, it's going to be 0.33 liters. So make sure you can go back and forth between the liters and milliliters quickly. So that's going to be 1.57 molar. So that's going to be your molarity there. What else do we need? Well, we got the I, we got the molarity. We know the R. R is just going to be your gas constant. And the temperature needs to be in Kelvin scale. So make sure you use uh, T to be 20 plus 273.15. So that's going to be 2. 93.15 Kelvin temperature. So go ahead and calculate the, the osmotic pressure now. So your I is 2. The molarity is going to be 1.57 molar. Your R is going to be 0 0.0821 atmosphere liters over moles Kelvin. And then your temperature is going to be 293.15 Kelvin. If you wonder how the units cancels out, then you can see uh, the Kelvin here will cancel out Kelvin. And then remember the moles over liters. So I'll change the color there here. So remember this moles and this liters is actually the molarity. So that's how the molarity is going to cancel out with that molarity here. There would have been molarity if you remove the moles and liters there. Do the math here. 2 times 1.57 times 0 0.0821 times 293.15. So that comes out to be 75.57 atmosphere. So that's a pretty big osmotic pressure you get. So it may not be very practical, but just for the purpose of question here, that's how it's going to look like. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments in the section below.